We all use buffers nearly every day in the lab, but are you sure that you know how to pronounce them correctly? Do you know which ones you should spell out and which ones you pronounce as a word? What about all those reagents that you just don't know how to say? This video is a quick guide on how to pronounce some of the most common buffers used in the lab. Acronyms and initialisms are a huge part of our daily lives. Sometimes an acronym, for example SCUBA, will be so commonplace that people forget that the word was originally an acronym. Some initialisms, on the other hand, are repeated so often that people forget what they stand for, which is how redundant phrases like ATM machine come into being. Unfortunately, there isn't any real hard and fast rule whether a buffer's abbreviation should be set as an acronym or an initialization. But for all the confused grad students and researchers out there, GoldBio is here to help. This next section is a quick guide for how to say common buffers so that you can say their names with confidence in the lab. First, let's go over the initialisms, the ones where you just say every letter. ADA, BES, MES, and TES. And finally, here's your guide on how to correctly pronounce buffer acronyms. ACES, BICENE, CAPS, CHES, PEPIS, PEPSO, MOPS, MOPSO, PIPES, TAPS, and finally, Tricene. I hope this video helped and don't forget to subscribe to keep seeing videos geared towards life science research. Thanks for watching.